y'all. It's TX Stampin' Sharon. Welcome to Mystery Stamping. If you're new to Mystery Stamping, I hope you'll hang with me and I hope that you will uh, join us um, next week for Mystery Stamping. Um, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I absolutely love to inspire you to make cards using what you have at home, uh, using just the stash you have, because as crafters, we all have stuff. So um, it is Monday, May the 8th. The month has started and the countdown is, is happening. Um, there's only going to be one more mystery stamping this month because I will be out of the country. Um, and so I want to encourage you guys to um, join us next Monday night right here every Monday night when I'm having it at 7 p.m. Central. So I do want to say hello to all who are joining in the chat. Um, we, I know you guys are waiting going, uh, where is she? Where is she? You know, little technical issue on this side. Renee Paris says, well, I hope we didn't lose you. <laughs> no, no, I was here pushing buttons. You know, I do this. We've been doing this for years. And you just never know when something's not going to work. So um, let's see. Oh, you guys are all chatting because it is uh, Nurses Week, I think. And I saw that some of you guys have been spoiled at the hospital. Um, the, and you know what? Nurses deserve to be spoiled and pampered. That's like teachers. It's also like teacher week. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, kudos Kudos. Let me tell you. Let's see. Virginia says, did you know that two of us here are exchanging cards? We found each other. Thanks to you, Virginia. I did not know that. See what happens in the mystery stampers community. You guys come here. We utilize the YouTube platform and then we find friends. How fun is that? All right. We are going to get started. I think we are Gave it a few minutes. Let everybody find us. Let me push this button. See if it works. Hallelujah. It did. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Ayana Sue from Seattle, Washington. It's also public service week, says Tammy. Okay. We do need our public servants. That's for sure. Um, all right. So the first clue was emailed out yesterday, every Sunday after 3 p.m., um, if you are on my email list, you will receive the first clue in your email. If you are not on my list, I highly recommend that you guys go below the video and join my newsletter list because not only do I send the first clue for mystery stamping, I also send free stuff. I send free tutorials. The other day I sent one about a free ruler that has the one eighth inch on it, like big for us to all see. Um, I send project sheets. Uh, I was working on that email um, that's going to be going out with some more project sheets and tips. I send all kinds of stuff. So um, we are going to get started um, after the live is over at 8 p.m. Central. Um, over on the blog, which how do you get to the blog, you might ask. There are two ways. One way is to just go over there. And there is my blog address, uh, txstampin.com. You know, guys, when you when you go to Google, just, just Google txstampin. And you'll see my Pinterest, my YouTube channel, my blog, my Stampin' Up! website. All of those things on Google. But you can go over there and get the free uh, PDF of the condensed version of the clues um, as a free download. And that is um, just my gift for you guys for you playing along with mystery stamping. So um, I am going to, um, Eileen says, lots of good things come in your email. I'm so glad you feel that way. All right. Um, add the three inch by five and a half inch designer series paper with adhesive to the left side of your card base. Leave about a quarter of an inch on the left side. Okay. Just going to offset it over a little bit. 
I do not have any props to that. I think you guys can get this card without props. It's not a fun fold, so I think you got it. When you are done with clue number two, I want you to type done two um, if you are joining me in the chat. If you are not joining me in the chat, you're watching the replay, um, just simply stop and start the video and make your card. I forgot to tell y'all the rules. Oh my gosh, there are two rules to mystery stamping. Are y'all ready? Number one, no stress. No stress. Card making is fun. Have fun with it. <laughs> Number two, we have a big saying around here in the in this in the uh, mystery stampers group. Actually, I think it's becoming my motto for laugh. You know what? Don't stress about things. You already have the clues, the first clue in front of you to make a card. If you get lost on my clues, if you don't like my clues, don't hurt my feelings. Don't hurt my feelings. Just go rogue, okay? Hence the shirt. Just go rogue, okay? Um, you know, I just want you to enjoy making a card. You're using the stuff you have at home. Um, a lot of you use like maybe a paper that mm, not so crazy about for your first mystery card. And then you go back and you go, okay, well now, now I'm serious. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and I'm going to make the card that I want with the pretty DSP. Okay, I'm seeing lots of duns. That was pretty simple. The clues for, for making simple, easy mystery cards are just basic step-by-steps on how to make a card, okay? Um, I do want to scroll back up just a little bit. Golly, how many do we have? All right, we have 270 joining us, so there's quite a few that are done. Um Okay, I am seeing that Carrie Hamilton needs our thoughts, and I am trying to see why. Um, this is the thing about mystery stamping. We, we are a tight community, and we care about each other, not just making cards. Carrie says, I'm a nurse. I love my job. Unfortunately, cancer has gone to my spine, and I'm able to work. I really miss my patients. Carrie, we are so sorry to hear that. Um, you know, having cancer myself, um, working through it and how it affects your life is very hard. And I, I, um, you got to fight like a girl. You just got to, you got to fight through this. And hopefully um, you'll, maybe one day you'll be able to go back to nursing if that's what you choose to do. Um, but we're, we're cheering you on to fight this battle. Oh my gosh. I hate cancer. I just hate it. All right. Um, Rosemary says, do you want us to do our pictures with our just go rogue t-shirts? Yes, I do. Y'all take a selfie, hold the phone up. Let's just see that shirt that just go rogue hashtag mystery Monday stampers and post it all over social media. And when someone asks you, what does that mean? Say, you need to come join us. I'm just saying every Monday at 7 p.m. Central on YouTube. Clue number three, add the colored cardstock that measures two inches by five and a half in the center of the DSP layer that we just added with adhesive. Okay. Mary, Mary H., you need to post your shirt. Mm -hmm. Post your pictures. Are we working portrait or landscape? Diane is asking. Yes. Yep. <laughs> However you cut your paper, that's how your card's going to go. If you cut your paper to where it looks better, landscape, your card's going to go landscape. If you cut your DSP where it looks better portrait, your card's going to be portrait. And that's one reason why I didn't do any props. Because I don't want y'all to say, well, you didn't tell me. And so if I showed you my card and I put it on and I started doing it and you said, well, you didn't tell me. So I did my, I cut my paper portrait instead of landscape. So it can go either way. See, no stress. No stress. All right. When you guys are done with clue number three, type done three. 
I am seeing some lighting issues. This looks good. This does not look good on the screen. Why? Hmm. I don't know. Can y'all see my screen? Yeah, it looks okay over there. It's all that technical. Okay, so Kay uh, texted in the chat was uh, that rain had started in New Bronzeville, which she's just south of me. And I, I, uh, oh, it's getting kind of dark. And so I went and looked and there is a storm coming. So y'all know the drill. If I get knocked off because of the internet, 8 p.m. Central, I will have the download. It goes, it's already scheduled to go. Um, I will, I've already even scheduled it to go on the Facebook group. So you will have the clue. So if we get lost at all, you can still go back and finish your card. Um, okay. So you guys are saying I look good on your screen. Okay, good. All right. I think we are done. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon, 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 <gasps> Sharon. Is that a way to spell Sharon? CM, CMC designs. Is that how I, Sharon, Sharon. Okay. Clue number four. Adhere the different colored cardstock that measures one and three quarters by five and a half centered on the previous colored cardstock layer with adhesive. So Renee Paris was on here. She is my partner in crime with mystery stamping. She uh, goes through. I send her the clues. And she doesn't see my card. I send her the clues and bless her heart. She comes up with a card. And I'm just in awe. I do have to still go back and check one, though, that I sent you, Renee. The, this, the last one you sent me, I was like, that doesn't look like any of my cards. <laughs> I sent her a slew of them. Um, and so next Monday, you guys want to be here for mystery stamping because I have a fabulous announcement. Mm -hmm. You don't want to miss the announcement. It's going to, it has something to do with while I'm gone on my cruise to Norway with Stampin' Up. So Michelle says, I have to start all over again. I don't want to hide my DSP. No, 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 no. Don't you start all over again. Just see what it looks like, Michelle. Just let it go. Let it go. Um, It's raining in Kempner. Where's Kempner? Terry Gatton, where is Kempner? Is that near me? Please don't tell me it's near me and I don't know about it. Kempner, Texas. Tell me where that is. Good evening, Anika. I see you on there. Um, hi, Sue. She says, oh, I'm late. Um, we kind of started a minute or so late, so you're not that bad. We are on clue number four. Um, Beverly Smith says so good so far. I haven't had to go rogue. There we go. We're baby stepping it. So Sue really quick. Clue number two was to adhere the three inch by five and a half inch DSP, um, with the adhesive to with adhesive towards the left side of your card base, leaving about a quarter of an inch on the left side. Okay. So we're offsetting it. Then Clue number three was to add the colored cardstock that's two inches by five and a half in the center of the DSP with adhesive. And then clue number four is the one and three quarters by five and a half different colored cardstock that we're adding. So we've just got our layers. We're building up our base. Um, Lavina, did that help you? I just went through. Uh, clue number one was the first clue to gather your supplies. So I can't help you with that one. Um, So let's see here. Michelle is late too. Oh my goodness. You guys must have had a busy day. Lois says, I just got my Go Rogue adhesive bag today. Yay. I hope y'all love those stickers. They're big, aren't they? We did. Um, I offered some Just Go Rogue adhesive bags. I do still have some over on the blog uh, under the tutorial tab. Like if you're going to buy a tutorial, if you want an adhesive bag. Um, so yeah, there's, there's what, six or seven more left. Um, oh gosh, Sarah says that she's done with four. I glued the DSP upside down on my card. Well, can you use hot air and get it off? You know, like, 
I know that sounds so funny. It's like Darth Vader. Can you get it off? Um, Gwen says, hello, everybody. Just watching, but we'll soon get stamping. Good. Robin received hers as well. Um, such a handy assortment of adhesives. I'm glad, Robin. I'm glad you think so. They're all my favorites. All my favorite adhesives are in there. All right, let's go to clue number five. I want you to stamp on the basic white layer that measures one and five eighths by five and a half with long images, tall, long, skinny, or an assortment of smaller images, okay? If they need to be colored, color them now. Um, but this, it, you're going to stamp, if you're using the, the smaller images, you're going to fill up that whole piece of paper. It's not very big, so it's not going to take you long. But let me tell you, when I was making my card, which by the way, I love my card. <laughs> I just, I just keep looking at it. Y'all want to see? No, I'm not going to show you. Anyway, I'll show you at the end when we solve the mystery together. Um, I had to redo it three times. I'm like, what, what is my problem? And when I show you the card, you're going to say, yeah, what was your problem? <laughs> oh, good. Mary Ann, it's her first time mystery stamping. <gasps> we're so glad you're excited and we're excited you're here. Now, for all of you who are, well, first timers, I know I said hello to a few of you at the beginning in the chat. For all of you that are first timers, we are thrilled that you're here. We encourage you to just go rogue if you get stressed. After the uh, mystery stamping is over with, you are invited to take a picture of your card and then post it over in the Mystery Stampers Facebook group. Um, if you're not a member of that, you can just you can still join us. Um, you don't have to. Feel, it's just an open group, you know. Um, we just let, we let, we let anybody in from all over the world and you just, ooh and ah, at over each other's cards. So when you go to post your cards, you're going to post it as a comment. There's a little in the comment section. Is that what you call that? There's a little camera. And so you take a picture with your phone and then you click that camera and you upload your card. Okay. Now we have learned Renee and I have learned the hard way. Um, some of the cards were not getting posted and we just, I mean, it has taken me a long time to figure out why. If you don't have a picture for your Facebook profile, it could be a picture of your dog. It could be a picture of a butterfly. It could be a picture of anything. But on your Facebook profile, if there's not a picture there, it won't let you post your card. So take a selfie, take a picture of your dog or your cat. That's how you get to post it. All right, clue number five. I'm seeing some duns with five. Trisha says her bag arrived Saturday and she absolutely loves those stickers. I'm thinking if I ever do it again, we're going to do an assortment of stickers. We're going to say, hey, y'all, just go rogue. Um, no stress, you know, just fun things. So stickers, I've never done it, but it's because of y'all that I did this. I did this because y'all wanted stickers. Uh, let's see. Debbie says it. This is Debbie Warren. This is her second time watching. Whoops. You, where'd you go? Second time watching live. I'm from Trenton, Ontario, Canada. Yay. Welcome. We just love, we've got Inika in from the Netherlands. We've got Canada in the house. I know that people from uh, New Zealand will watch tomorrow uh, because it's their bedtime right now. <laughs> I know it's morning there. It's Inika's bedtime. I went the wrong way. Um, but yeah, we just have mystery stampers. We have friends all over the world. It's great. It's so fun. Okay. How are we doing? If when you're done with clue number five, type done five. Oh, Sue got her bag today. Yay. Leanne is done with five. Val says, Val Thompson. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I lost you. There you are. Val Thompson says done with five and it's her second time too. How did y'all find us? Did you find us through Facebook? Did you find us on mystery stamping on the YouTube channel? Are you on my newsletter? How did you find us? I just curious, just wondering. Um, oh, and I did. Inika, you're right. I forgot Alexandra from Portugal. I, I'm telling you that girl, 
she posts her cards over on Instagram and she tags me and I just, I see, my, I see that she's mentioned me. And I'm like, oh, let me go look at her card. I love it. I just love it. I love to see what you guys do because no one's cards looks the same. And by the way, I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. My cards have Stampin' Up! products because that's what I sell. However, don't feel like you can't show your card if you're if it's not Stampin' Up! products. Please, it's okay. Um, I know I had a message from somebody. She's been playing along, but she won't post her cards because they're not Stampin' Up! Oh, no. No, no. You can post your card. Barb Curry is wanting to know if the card is portrait or landscape. Yep. <laughs> I'm so mean. It can be either way, Barb. If you're just now joining me, I kind of went through it at the beginning. It's going to be based on your designer series paper. Okay. And how you stamp this layer now, this one right here, but you can make your card however you want. See, no stress, just no stress. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sure is getting dark. <laughs> I want to know why. Every time I'm scheduled to go live this spring, we have storms. I just, I just want to know if somebody could just fill me in on why every Monday night, every Thursday night for the past, what, six weeks, this whole spring. Okay. Deb says, I found you on Pinterest earlier this year and I've been following you ever since. Well, there you go. I'm so glad. Um, let's see. Val found me on Facebook. Jane Zorn got her bag today. Um, just looking. Okay, so it is 1020 in Australia. Okay, and Janice got her bag. Perfect. All right, let me just see who else, how everybody else found me. Um, Sarah says, I sent you the barn and cows today. Sarah, I'm so glad you told me because your name's not in my phone. And I was at... Uh, the nursing home visited my brother and I was like, I got to go back and ask her, who is this? That was the stinkingest, cutest card ever. She sent me the barn door card, uh, like a Dutch door with the cow on it. Absolutely adorable. Uh, such a cute card, Sarah. Thank you for sending it. All right. Clue number six, add the stamped basic white layer to the center of the colored card stock with liquid glue if needed, since it's a very thin border. If you if you have trouble like I do, because there's not much room, um, then you might want to use liquid glue or whatever your favorite adhesive is, you can do that. Cindy Wagner, good answer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Kempner is just west of Colleen. Oh, okay, 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 all right. All right. Thank you, Terry, for telling me that. Uh, let's see. It's getting dark here, too, TX. Renee Paris, you're a stinker. I told her at the team meeting on Saturday because we have a, a team time together that um, those who are on my team, you know, we just we got together and we did a uh, kit together. Everybody. Um, if they wanted to order one of the kits from Stampin' Up, they could do that and have it ready for the team meeting. Or they could just, some of them did paper pumpkin, but we just stamped and chatted. You know, my team is all over the United States, so it's impossible to have an in-person meeting. Um, and so we just got together and stamped. So it was so funny. I told, I told Renee, I said, you know what, girl, if you live close to me, we get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Because she is a mess. She is a hoot. Um, Christine found me after a Creative 8 retreat. Yes, because I used to do mystery stamping at the Creative 8 retreats. Let's see. Oh, um, let's see. Kaluna, Kaluna Die. I found you when I did a search for fun folds on YouTube, and you've not been able to get rid of me since. That was six -ish weeks ago. I'm so glad. I don't want to get rid of you, hon. Absolutely not. I don't want you to go anywhere. Um, Nancy found me on a retreat. Terry Biggs got her bag too and couldn't find my open stamp and seal. So open the new one. There you go. Perfect timing. All right. I think we are done with six. Um, 
Jan says, I'm part of Creativate and experience your mystery stamping at the retreats. I didn't realize you did it weekly until I saw it on Facebook. Well, there you go. There you go. Um, it's the suspense. <laughs> Mary Yates, you're right. She is a hoot. Clue number seven. I want you to stamp your sentiment or your greeting, whatever you call it. There's been a discussion about that. Is it a greeting? Is it a sentiment? It's both in my book um, on basic white scrap. And then I want you to cut it to size with your paper trimmer. Or you could use dies or punches. When you are done with clue number seven, type done seven. Cindy also found me at the Creative Aid in the spring. There we go. So newbie. Um, ah, yes, Cindy. Fort Hood is in Colleen, Texas. Mm -hmm. Oh, you only lived in Texas for seven months? Girl, you didn't live here long enough. Sue Manning found me on Facebook. Well, there you go. Um, Brenda found me on YouTube when I first started Mystery Stamping. You know, Mystery Stamping has been around for over three years. I started it. I actually first started it, my friend Brenda, over on Facebook um, because I didn't know if it would work on YouTube, but I started on Facebook. I would go live every no at noon, every Monday, um, just for our, our sanity, because that was when the pandemic started. March of 2020 is when I started it. And, you know, um, haven't looked back. We, we just still keep going. Um, I know that from the messages I've gotten from y'all, it has, it helped you during that period, um, I, I provided a sense of community here on YouTube um, and, and on Facebook for um, you to reach out and, and be inspired by others, you know? And so we helped each other get through the pandemic and we're just still helping each other to this day. <laughs> uh, Cheryl says, I found you on YouTube and thank you for doing mystery Monday. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Inika says, you were one of the first three demos I found. The other two are Connie Stewart and Miss Miss Ballhouse, Miss Jackie. Yep. Yep. And we're all buddies. So there you go. Uh, Diane Little says, a friend told me about you and told me how to get on my computer to find you. I am falling behind since I can't find my stamps right now. Well, Diane, don't stress. Remember, that's my first rule. You just sit back and enjoy it. Watch the mystery be solved when I show my card at the end. That's really stinking cute. <laughs> and then go back when you find your stamps, go back and stop and start the video and make your card. All right. I think we're done with seven. Okay. <clears throat> I want you now to stamp your small image stamp on the basic white scrap, punch it out or use dies. Okay. Um, you know, didn't even think about it, but you may, you could use snips if you need to cut it out. Um, if it needs to be colored, do that now. Hmm. Did I not tell, did I not, Renee, did I not tell them to make a mat? <laughs> Hold on. I'm, I'm peeking at the other clues. Let me just get these clues out. When you're done with clue number eight, type done eight. Ah, uh -huh. it's coming up. I didn't mess up. Renee would have caught me if I messed up. She's, she's that good. Um, ah, Virginia says, I think it depends. Okay, so we're back to the, the greeting sentiment discussion, you know, here on mystery stand, but there ain't no telling what we'll talk about. So, you know, maybe I should look up the definition of greeting and sentiment, but Virginia says, you know, um, it depends on what it says. All right. Um, oh, let's see. Can I do this? What does sentiment mean? No, not sentimental, just sentiment. Hang on. Sentiment. Um, hmm. Well, that doesn't make sense at all. Hold on. I'm going to the dictionary. 
I mean, sentiment says a general feeling, the expression of a view. Hmm. I agree with your sentiments regarding the road bridge. Who talks like that? <laughs> I, 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 hmm. I don't like that. What sentiment means? An attitude or a thought? Have we been using sentiment wrong all this time? Well, Webster's saying so. It's an opinion, a specific view. All right. All right. Let's see what greeting says. <laughs> what does greeting mean? What does... Maybe I should say sentiment mean in card making. Whoops. In card making. Let's try that. See, how do you add sentiments to cards? It's They're called sentiments. Y'all are probably over here talking about me. Let me come back. Let me go back over here. I, 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 went, I went astray. Um, greeting is like, hello, or how are you? Sentiment is a phrase or statement. But it can be either one. I say greeting. I say sentiment. What say y'all? <laughs> what was clue number seven? Clue number seven was to stamp your sentiment on basic white scrap, cut it to size with a paper trimmer, or use dies or punches. Jane sa Jan says she uses greetings for the outside, sentiment for the inside. What's the difference, Jan? That's that's the puzzle. Is it greeting? Is it sentiment? Okay, who said it? Who said it? Barb says she agrees. Um, okay, so Val says just go rogue. You call it what you want. <laughs> Whatever part of the country or world you live in, call it what you want. Okay, <clears throat> when you're done with clue number eight, type done eight. I was always told that greeting was on the front and the sentiment on the inside. And, and that's true. That's, that's how I was taught. But so <clears throat> thank you would be on the outside. That's the greeting. You are so generous that would be i mean yeah on the inside the greeting can be what you want face blue smiling face <laughs> miss speakers that's too funny um lorraine says bottom line just call them the words stamp your words on the outside stamp your words on the inside case closed <laughs> Um, Robin says, either way, it's all semantics. We all know what it means. Well, you know, okay, so we know what it means, but I got asked, what is a sentiment? I was like, it's what you put on the outside of your card or on your card. And she was like, well, what goes on the inside? So that's what started the conversation. This was like a week ago. So I'm just saying, just saying. Rosemary says, I found an attitude, thought, or judgment prompted by feeling. My sentiments are how I feel. I switch them around and sometimes both on the inside and the outside. There you go. It's how you feel. Um, <laughs> uh, Choose Life says, <clears throat> my sentiment is just go rogue. Mm -hmm. Same girl, same. Let's move on to clue number nine. And I'll leave clue number eight there in case you still need it. Add the stamp image with dimensionals to the card front. You may decide to off-center it from the layers, or you can just add it to the layers, like straight on. So when I say offset, I will tell you, I will give you a tip on that. Um, well, that's not going to show up. It's off to the side. So pretend... This is our layers. Oh my, that's pretty close. And you might want it 
like touching here and here. So offset like that. Okay. When you're done with clue number nine, type done nine. Remember, if you're watching the replay, you do not have to type done on as a comment. But if you're watching the replay, please comment. I love to read your comments. Um, I love to read from where you're where you're at. Um, what stamp set are you using? What designer series paper did you choose? Inquiry minds want to know these things. Just saying. And those of you in the chat during the live, you can tell me what paper you use. Tell me what designer series paper you're using tonight on your mystery card. Virginia Hodkins is going rogue. I don't need the extra image on my card. Well, there you go. She doesn't want it. Doesn't need it. Lavina says, I don't think I'm doing clue number eight. I'm going rogue. Done. When y'all see my card, you're going to go, okay, fine. I'm going to go back and put it on. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I just had so much fun with my card. Um, and I hope that you like it. Um, and I hope better even still is that you like your card that you're making. Um, Michelle says, can you show that again? I was with my cut and emboss machine. Sure. My little prop, my prop that I told you I wasn't going to have. So I said, pretend these are your layers and you could put your um, die cut image right here or you could offset it and have it hanging off the side. Okay. All right. Let's see what you guys are using. Um, Gail is using the T DSP. Okay. Um, uh, Kaluna is going, doing the rogue thing. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Ah, Holly in Wyoming used delightfully eclectic DSP. Lavina says that I'm extra funny tonight. <laughs> It's because I love to have fun. I, Y'all, I'm just in this room by myself staring at myself on the camera. I got to make it fun. <laughs> Even hubby is outside with the dogs. He goes, I don't know if I'm going to be able to stay out here the whole time. I might get wet. And I'm like, what? Rain? And that's when I looked outside. All right. Rose Marie says, got to go. Husband just brought home dinner to surprise me and thought we ended at 530. Take care, everyone. God bless and have a wonderful week. Have, have a good dinner, Rosemary. Moody Mauve. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where'd they go? Moody Mauve and the In Color DSP is what Terry's using. Ooh, I can't see, wait to see that. Kathy is using Fresh as a Daisy DSP and Dainty Delight Stamp Set. Mmm, sounds interesting. Deborah used Parisian Dyes and Regency Park Paper. Pretty. Um, Deborah McLean is using dandy designs and Vicki Trevino is reminding y'all to give me a thumbs up, not a thumbs up in the chat, in the live, but if you're watching this video or below the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. Those are all things that help me with my analytics with YouTube. They love it when you guys interact. Um, and like I said, it helps me. So there you go. Okay, Susan Glasgow, there's my friend using Dainty Delight. Uh, Jean is using the Fresh Freesia DSP. Lorraine, I mean, Lori is using the Daffodil Afternoon. Um, Marsha is using Frame Florets and Decorative Borders. Lovely, lovely. All right, how are we doing on... I think you guys are done with nine. Um, Iona says all the DSP I have is retired and I don't know until I make the card later. No problem. No problem. Clue number 10. If your sentiment slash greeting layer, if your words <laughs> layer needs to be matted, you can do that now. Otherwise, add it to the card front with dimensionals. Now, here's my, here's my theory, or my theory. Here's my theory on that. Here's my thoughts on that. My card has a lot of white space on my stamped piece. So if I just put my words straight on, it would kind of just get lost in the white. If you stamped, you know, like maybe some bold trees or something, you might not need that uh, layer to be matted. You might be just fine just putting the basic white layer on. 
Brenda Bennett used tulips and owl stamp set. I used the tulip and owl stamp sets. Perfect. Tulip DSP, owl stamp set, I'm assuming. All right, when you're done with clue number 10, type done 10. <laughs> Eileen Procup says, I have no clue what DSP is. I, it's just old like me. <laughs> Girlfriend, we don't want to say those words. I went to a convenience store today. My brother wanted Butterfinger candy bars. Target did not have them. He's, he's in a nursing home, so I always ask him, what can I bring you and all that? He was bound and determined. That's what he wanted. So I stopped at a 7-Eleven, went in, and said, you know, I, I found him. I was like, oh, thank goodness, because I had him a hot meal to take, and I'm like, ah. So anyway, the guy at the cash register said something about you're as young as you feel or something like that, and I go, oh, I know. I said, I some days I feel my age, and he goes, well, you're not a day over 40. And I was like, well, bless you because I am. And he goes, uh, 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 we don't, we don't utter those words. We don't go there. And I was like, okay. <laughs> it was super cute. So I love Butterfingers too, Susanna. And I, I, he goes, he's trying to explain to me. He's had a stroke. So he's trying to explain to me. They're in a yellow wrapper. And I go, I know, Bubba. I love them. They're one of my favorites. I don't eat them a whole lot anymore. But I love them. I know what I'm looking for. But who knows why they didn't. They don't have them in the bags. They didn't have them at the cash registers. Anyway, who knows? Sue Wall says, I love that sailing home stamp set. I'll never get rid of it. Perfect. Perfect. I love it, too. It is. I don't keep my stuff, though. Um. Marianne is using nothing's better. Okay, perfect. I love fresh Butterfingers too. I don't like them when they're old. And you can tell. You can tell. Clue number 11. I want you to add ribbon, twine, embellishments, whatever you think your card needs. And I don't want y'all to see what my card is underneath. Hold on. Why? I can see that card. And if Jane Strain was on here, she'd be telling you what the, what the card looked like. Cause she's, she's like that. She's a stinker too. She's another hoot. We're all hoots. We all have a good time. If you were all done with your card, say all done. We teach the babies sign language. All done. All done. And, but can I, I can't see your hand. So you have to type it. Um, Cliff says, my husband wanted a Mr. Goodbar yesterday. I couldn't find them anywhere. In one store, the two young clerks um, sent me to the trail bar section. <laughs> You're like, this is not what I'm looking for. I mean, yeah, because of the pandemic, it's amazing some of the stuff that is still a problem. We can't find it. Like, I, I had said it many, many times during the heat of that time frame. Are we ever going to go back to normal? No, not the normal that we used to know. Sad, sad, sad. I don't know. I think it'd be, should I show you what supplies I use first and then show you my card? I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all want to see the card first? Or do you want to see the supplies I used? Let me know in the comments. Switch things up this week. Let you know we don't have to always do the same thing. <clears throat> now we want one. Now we all want candy, right? And did I buy did I keep one of those butterfingers for me? Now. Hmm. I'm kind of seeing a 50-50. Supplies, supplies. Oh, Sarah had to go a little rogue. Um, love that layered look. I know, isn't it sweet how it just... Did, 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 did. Okay. I'm seeing about 50-50. I, I think, and, and this, let me, I will show you, I will show you why I had this thought. Okay. Because there is some designer series paper that is new in the uh, new catalog that I don't think we're looking at it the right way. Let me just, let me just explain myself. Okay. So this is called masterfully 
made. All right. So this is one side. Okay. This is the back side. So when you look at it, it's like a bunch of torn paper that they made a scene out of. Right. But on the back side, it's just torn paper. Okay. So we're just going to look at this paper together. Masterfully made. So this is the back side. This is the front side. Okay. And these little handmade papers are papers. Yes. Paper is what I'm looking at. These little handmade flowers remind me of a dye that we have that makes little flowers like this. And I was like, did they do that? You know, when the Stampin' Up! artists design the paper, they either take a photo, draw it, but they create the patterns and then produce it. So this is the back side. And so the back side is what I want you guys to, um, to you know, think about because some of the front sides, you may go, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, I'm a bold, bright person. Bring on those wild colors. I'm, I'll take them all. But some of you are not, okay? So when you look at the back sides and then you see my card, remember, I'm going to show you my card. Um, you're going to, I think you're going to look at this paper differently. So anyway, I hope so because I've kind of learned to love it. This print, and you cannot see it, but there's actually type words underneath it and there's dotted lines. So it's very interesting and you cannot see that on the camera, I'm sure. Could we have a slumber party? I'm not ready to quit, says Sarah. Sure, get your jammies on. Go get some, go get some popcorn. I'll entertain you guys all night long. <laughs> all right, so here's the back side. And I love that because look, <clears throat> the card I had you make, I had you stagger card, uh, card stock, okay? Well, this is like staggered, like think of it this way. It's, this is like our piece that we put on our card. I understand it's torn edges, but you see what I'm trying to say? Anyway, so that's one side. This is the back side. Like I told you, I'll bring on those bold colors. I'll take them all day long for those of you who don't like them. Um, so here's the back side. Here's the front side of another pattern. And again, it has, maybe you can see it there. Can y'all see the words and the lines, the dashes? Here's the back side. Look at that lemon lime twist. Woohoo! And then here's the front side with those handmade paper flowers again. So I just, I, we just had to take a little moment there and let you just absorb this paper. And now I'll, I'll be nice and I'll show you my card because you guys, Lavina says, now I got to order the paper. Thanks, Sharon. <clears throat> I just think it's going to get overlooked if we don't show it off. Now I'm going to show you the other things that I used after I show you my card. For those of you who are hanging around waiting to see the card, I'm not going to show it yet. No, yes, I am. <laughs> Look how stinking cute it is. I love my card. I love the paper. Okay. So do you see that subtle paper back there? Who was it who didn't want to, um, um, cover up their, their DSP. And I go, no, 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 no. Keep going. Keep going. Because I think just having a little bit of it peeking out just gives you a, a what, what does the rest of that paper look like kind of thing? Um, I had a blast. Now, can y'all see there is a die in the stamps in the, in the bundle that cuts out the picnic tablecloth. Look at the tablecloth. Our little picture of lemonade is sitting on the tablecloth. The stamp set is just so refreshing. Who did I tell? Was it Paula? Paula, I said, I hope that tonight's mystery stamping refreshes you. This is what I meant. All right, let me show you the dies to this really quick. I guess I need to see more cards made with the DSP on the front sides. Okay, Inika, I'm not done, girlfriend. We'll, we'll be playing with it. There is the tablecloth. 
Look how stinking cute. And so if you just cut it with cardstock, you're going to be able to see the pattern, like a gingham pattern. But I had also ordered, not realizing what this did, I ordered the new gingham. Let's see, what is this called? Gingham. Glorious gingham. Okay. So this is the layer. This is what I use for the tablecloth. Okay. And so we have it in berry burst. We have it in... Um, blueberry bushel we have it in lemon lime twist we have it in a pretty peacock we have there's our okay that went with that other one and then oh gosh is that pecan let me think um yep that was pecan pie okay so it worked out perfectly for my card um i also used some week of stella uh, Vicki, I did not have an unboxing this time. Um, oh, Paula, look at you getting creative on me, girlfriend. You said you needed some inspiration and you're throwing out the inspiration. She said that could be Aladdin's flying carpet. Mm -hmm. See, see. So Vicki, I did not do an unboxing. I was going to, and I did not uh, with my, I went to the beach last week and then I'm going to Norway. There just wasn't enough time. So I used Wink of Stella, and let me just point something out that, Jennifer, I'm, I'm sure that um, this paper is going to have to grow on you, um, but like I said, the backside is what grew on me first. Just say it, okay? When I was taking the pictures and I was posting them on my blog, I was like, why does that lemonade have some gray to it? It is from... I put, I put Wink of Stella, can y'all see the shimmer, on all my lemonade. And when it dried, I never even noticed it. It turned it gray when you have it at a different angle. So I did not mess up. It's the Wink of Stella. <laughs> I was like, well, that didn't go well on Lemon Lolly. So keep that in mind. Um, what is Facebook name for the Mystery Monday Stamper, Stampers group? TX Stampin' Sharon's Mystery, hold on, Mystery, I'm going to grab the link and I will put it, whoops, more Mystery Stampers right here, TX Stampin' Mystery Stampers, let's grab this, I'm putting it in the chat, da, da, da. here we go. There we go. Um, there it is, Inika. Um, grab that link really quick and um, head over to the Facebook group. Um, you could use your packing tape on your pitcher of lemonade. Okay. Let me just tell you, Paula, I'm with you. I was right there with you. I put the packing tape on the ice cubes. Look, you see the ice cubes? And then I put the ice cubes on like they're tiny. Okay. And then I put them in the lemonade uh, pitcher and I went back and forth. Are the ice cubes in the lemonade? They're going to look yellow, right? But I did them white. Didn't look right white. So I did them yellow, put the packing tape on it because I wanted them to shine. I was playing with it, Paula. I was playing with it, but I decided to just let it go. <laughs> Don't stress. Just let it go. And I'll, I'll, I'll you're going to see this stamp set again. I mean, this is this is just the beginning of summer and, you know, the lazy days of summer are just coming up on us. So I hope that you guys love that card. Um, I hope that you enjoy tonight's mystery stamping. You can go over in about four hot minutes, I think. Yep, 7.56 and get the um, clues. Uh, you can look below the video and get that. Have a fabulous week. I will be back on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central, right here on my YouTube channel, TX Stampin' Sharon, with some more Stampin' goodies. So, I will see you, um, I'll see you guys then. Happy Stampin', y'all!